Hi, today I'd like to talk about the lace tool in Design Init. Many people ask, is the lace tool really worth the $75 license fee? And I'd like to show it to you so that you can decide for yourself. What we've got here is a simple lace pattern from Nitty. Um, I think it's called Arisag. And this is something we'd like to knit. So in order to do this on the knitting machine, we need to put the stitch pattern into Design a Knit. The first thing I'd like to do is show you what would happen when we click on the lace tool. It will populate the stitch symbol area with the lace smart symbols. So let's take a look at these. This here would normally be a knit two together. Um, this would be an SSK or a left leaning decrease. This is a double central decrease. These two are leaning uh, stitches or, or transfer stitches. There really isn't a good equivalent in hand knitting. This is the yarn over. And these two here are for um, brother fine lace transfers. And since we don't have a brother, we really don't fully understand these two symbols. But if you have a brother, uh, you probably know what these fine lace transfers are. What you could do is start putting these symbols up in the grid to replicate this grid over here. But with the lace tool, there's actually a simpler way. If we wanted to replicate the pattern we have here in Nitty, we would start here with the yarn over and drag to the left, then um, again do the same this way, then we want to uh, drag one that way, and so forth, until we get here and we've got the the double uh, central decrease. Interestingly enough, if you start with one side, then put the yarn over and drag over that, it becomes the, the double central decrease right here. So it, it's very easy, very convenient, actually faster than grabbing each of these symbols and depositing them. We're going to quick work on this and you'll see that it, it really goes together very fast. You know, one thing that you're wondering is how are we going to get this little yarn over here all by itself? Because, see, if I try to drag it to the uh, left, my yarn over disappears. If I drag it to the right, it's really not in the correct direction. This situation is where the handy dandy shuffle button comes in. And what we're going to do is shift it a few columns to the right. So now you can see the whole pattern. And what we want to do here is move that in that direction. And actually, we should shuffle it one more row. And now we can do both um, of these pieces. Shuffle it, whoops. Shuffle it another row over. And then we can finish off our pattern. Like so. So, uh, that's how we're we're going to accomplish this. And instead of making you wait until we draw this side, we'll just show you the final pattern here. Now, one very important thing is you want to look at your method of knitting here. And you'll notice that we've got it here as wrong side facing textures. Really, we probably wanted it on the right side facing textures. And we'll show you why in a second. Let's leave it here at wrong side facing texture and click OK. Then we're going to save the pattern. And here's the magic of the lace tool. Let's print and then print the stitch pattern template. Here you can see that this is the lace pattern as it would be shown on a punch card. So this is where if you have a punch card machine, you can use this as your template 
to um, punch your punch card. These symbols over here indicate that these are um, rows that you would knit as a transfer only and the LC means you're going to um, transfer and knit in um, silver reed terms. In brother terms that would mean you would use the uh, standard carriage for the LC rows and the transfer lace carriage for these LCT rows. Let's look at this. We've got 32 rows in this pattern. I'm going to go back to back to design in it, close this, and use the options method of knitting and show it to you with the right side facing texture so you can see the difference. So we're going to save the pattern and then um, print stitch pattern templates here. And if you look at this, you actually get only 28 rows and this is where you may need to play with it to figure out which um, method of knitting is better and it really relates to which side of the work you start the carriage on and things like that. Um, I don't get too scientific here. I do whichever is the least amount of work and um, in this case the knit method of uh, right side facing texture works better for uh, many lace patterns. So again here this is going to be for a silver reed machine transfer and knit. This is going to be uh, knit only since there's no um, needle selected. This would be a transfer only row, transfer only row, and then um, knit and knit and so forth. Now it's very important to take note of the direction in which the transfer is occurring. So what this means here is the stitch that used to be on this needle will go to this needle because we're moving in this direction. This is just a standard knit row. In this case again this uh, stitch will go to this needle and because this uh, row 4 is a transfer row but in the uh, right direction this stitch here will now move to the right. This stitch will move to the right. We're going to knit that row, knit a blank row and then here we're going to move one stitch to the left, one stitch to the left and then here we're going to transfer one stitch to the right and one stitch to the right, knit, knit, and here is our um, double central decrease. So we're going to transfer this stitch to this uh, needle over to the left, do the same over here, and if you notice this stitch here will transfer to the right which is actually the same needle because you have not knit these rows. So this uh, needle here will end up with two stitches. The one that was formerly on the right side and the one that was formerly on the left side. And that's how you're going to end up with a yarn over on both sides and then the center needle will have um, the the two stitches as well as it as its original stitch leaving you three stitches on the center needle a yarn over and a yarn over so um, I hope this helps you understand the um, the joy and the power of the uh, lace tool it's only with the lace tool that it will uh, determine the punch card pattern. If you have an electronic machine it will send that same information to your machine and to your lace carriage so that it will perform um, those stitches. So for the Silver Reed PC10 uh, the design and knit is actually not writing the file properly to indicate whether this is a transfer and knit row or a uh, transfer only row. So what I do is I print the punch card pattern and then I rescan that in DAC Graphics Studio. That allows me to um, 
put the punch card pattern in the machine to indicate which needles will transfer. And then I manually figure out, is this a transfer in knit row or a transfer only row based on the LC and the LCT symbols. And I put that information into PC10 manually. It really doesn't take that long even on a 28 row pattern. And that way I, ha I get to save the time and use my uh, stitch designer to enter my lace pattern instead of manually entering the entire thing into PC10. I hope this video helps you to understand whether you would benefit from the lace tool license. Hope you enjoy it.